Hi guys, this is B Radatech here. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at basic calculations in JavaScript. So we need to make sure we've got our script included on our page, and then we can begin. So over in our JavaScript library, I'm just going to create a few variables. So var a equals one, var b equals three, var c equals ten, and var D equals 15. So, um, as you see, I've got some variables, a few integers. Only if you look at D, our number is inside speech function. This means it's a string and it cannot be added. So, if we want to add this, we all we do is go var D num. So, you can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call it D num. So, D number equals pass float d so it's um changing that into an integer it's passing that into an integer so then we can use that so um start off with our calculation so a little comment here so here we're going to start so um, let's just start with adding some numbers together. So I'm just going to put 5 add a. I'm going to write it on the document. So document dot write. See if that works. So we go to our index, run it. Yeah, it equals 6. Um, let me just change the text size so uh, body style equals font size um, 40 pixels. So let's run that again. And as you can see, we've got 6. So 5 add A and A equals 1 is 6. So let's go back. So um, that's our first calculation. So as you can see, five plus one would equal six. Um, let's do another bit on the end. So we've got the five plus a equals six, and then also we're going to add, and then in brackets, um, b times c. So three times ten equals thirty. But 6 add 30 equals 36. So let's go and check that out. You can uh, quickly, you can pause this video to check out the calculation quickly. And we'll run it. So go back to our browser, refresh it, and it equals 36. So um, JavaScript like this does require some maths knowledge and how to write uh, formulas, but they are quite simple. Um, and what if we want to include d num? So I'll just add d num on the end, and let's refresh that. Equal 51, as you can see. So what if we just add a d? Well, something's gone wrong there, and obviously it hasn't worked. So that's why we use pass float. Um, so that is basic calculations in JavaScript. Um, we will look at uh, more hardcore um, calculations later in the series, but um, for the moment we're going to leave it at that because it is a little bit over basic calculations. But that is it. So hope hope you enjoyed this tutorial and keep watching.